If you've been looking for a ski in ski out condo at Blackcomb, then you're gonna love my tour of the top six condo buildings you should be looking at in the very popular Blackcomb Benchlands area of Whistler. Now keep in mind, these six top picks are actual true ski in ski out condos. They're not condos that you ski into but have to catch a shuttle bus back to the base of Blackcomb. We're talking about truly clicking into your bindings outside the building and skiing down to the lift. These are also condos, not townhomes. So instead of having an exterior entrance to your property, you're in a larger building with the typical lobby and an elevator up to your unit. For over 20 years, I've been helping buyers in Whistler make the right ski in, ski out condo choice for their needs. So if that sounds like something you'd like help with, feel free to reach out to me at the contact details in the description below. Now let's dive right into my top six picks for ski in, ski out condos at Blackcomb. Starting up at the top of Painted Cliff Road, we have the Blackcomb Springs Suites. This property is one of only two phase two hotel condo buildings located at Blackcomb. And this means that as the owner, you can use the unit yourself 28 days in the winter and 28 days in the summer. The rest of the time, the hotel manages the rentals for you and you get your associated share of the pooled revenue amongst all the other suites in the hotel. More on how this works in the link up to your right. The Blackcomb Springs Suites was built by IntraWest in 1996 and consists of smaller studio suites as well as one and two bedroom units. There's a wonderful year round heated outdoor pool and hot tubs, a full gym, underground parking, and a ski storage concierge on site. There's also a free continental breakfast in the lobby lounge every day. Next up, we have the Aspens on Blackcomb. The Aspens was built in 1995, also by IntraWest, and it shares a similar design language to the Blackcomb Springs Suites. Kind of a classic woodsy ski lodge vibe. The Aspens features one and two bedroom suites, many of which have been renovated by individual owners over the years. The central courtyard features a large year-round heated pool as well as two hot tubs. There's also a gym and a large lobby with front desk should you choose to use the in-house rental management. You'll also find a small ski shop on site, ski storage concierge, and extensive underground parking. Now moving up the ski run from the Aspens, we have the Wood Run, which is a slightly taller tower style condo building. It features many of the same amenities, such as year round heated outdoor pool and hot tub, a gym, underground parking, and ski storage. There's also a front desk, should you choose to use that particular rental management company. You can also do Airbnb on your own or use any other rental management company in town to handle your rentals, much like the Aspens or the next three buildings on my list. Next up, we have the Greystone Lodge, which was built in 1989. Greystone is actually set back from the ski slope just slightly and is sandwiched between the Aspens and the Wood Run. However, it's still ski and ski out because it's connected to the ski slope by a very short 100 meter long ski path. The suites in this building are a bit different as they consist of either one or two bedroom units and many of them are what we call lock-offs, which means there are two suites, each with individual exterior hallway doors, as well as an interior connecting door between the two suites, making it into a two bedroom unit. One side of the unit would be a one bedroom with kitchen and the other side would be a bedroom and a bathroom. This gives rental flexibility, but as an interconnecting two bedroom suite, they can sometimes feel a bit odd. Greystone features a year round heated outdoor pool and hot tub, a lobby with front desk services, underground parking and ski storage. Moving down the ski slope to the base area of Blackcomb, we have Le Chamois. Le Chamois is also a taller tower style condo building and was built in 1990 with extensive exterior renovations done in 2009. The suites in this building range from studio suites to one bedroom, two bath units, all the way up to some very cool large three and four bedroom penthouse suites. The only drawback to many of the units in this building is that they do not have full kitchens. Most of the suites at Le Chamois, unless they were recently renovated, only have the original small 1990s era kitchenettes, which is not ideal for the modern buyer. Le Chamois features a heated outdoor pool and hot tub, underground parking, and a large lobby and front desk. Because Le Chamois is located right in the base village at the base of Blackcomb, you have ski shops and restaurants both on the ground floor of the building as well as right outside on the pedestrian stroll. 
Glacier Lodge is also located at the base of Blackcomb and is right next door to Le Chamois and right across the pedestrian stroll from the Fairmont Chateau Whistler. Glacier Lodge features a heated outdoor pool, hot tub, gym, underground parking, and a large lobby and front desk which can manage your rentals. As with Le Chamois, Glacier Lodge's location is perfect, putting you right at the base of Blackcomb with excellent ski shops and restaurants right outside your door. Not to mention the Blackcomb Gondola just a few steps away. At the time of this video, the entire building is about to be extensively renovated from new roof to new pool and much more, which will ensure many years of trouble free ownership going forward. I hope you enjoyed my tour of the top six Blackcomb ski and ski out condos. If you want to stay up to date with the Whistler real estate market and get all the newest listings delivered right to your email inbox every week, click the link in the description below to sign up for my email newsletter, Whistler Friday Morning Coffee. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.